Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So uh, it's a little bit late, but I have the uh, completed pages for September coloring video. Um, I'm late getting this up. I know what to say, like the ninth or something. The time just got away from me. So, but I had a lot of fun coloring in September. Um, I have to tell you though, today is what, like I said, the ninth of October, and I have not colored one thing this month. It is scary movie season. So, you know, I'm a big horror fan. You know, I watch scary movies all year long. Horror is my thing. But in October, we really amp it up. So, we watch as much horror, we cram as much horror as we can um, into our daily <laughs> existence. So, we've watched a lot of stuff already this month, and I haven't colored anything. But I do plan on coloring at some point this month there's there's um books I want to work in I really want to participate in Carloween um there's some new Deborah Muller that is really really fun so I definitely have some things I want to do I just haven't gotten around to doing it yet however also the weather's been really nice and um uh, where it's like 76 degrees today. So this whole uh, week today's Friday and this whole or no Thursday Thursday Friday Friday Thursday today's Friday Friday. <laughs> Sorry. And um, this whole week has been really, really nice and it's supposed to be nice through Monday and then it drops back down into the 60s and 50s again. So I'm sure I will be coloring more soon. Um, but I'll stop talking and I'll get started. So the first page I colored in the month of September was from Cemetery Picnic, a haunting art by Sean. I guess it's comma. Uh, I'm not really sure. I need to move this little cord out of the way there. Um, and I just did one in this, and it is right here. Um, and you know I love anything Frankenstein and Bride of Frankenstein. Um, I did see that they are doing a uh, in one of the groups a big uh, Frankenstein's Bride uh, color along thing. Very cool. I'm going to participate in that if I'm able to. Um, so this I used. What did I use? Ink tents, um, and. Uh, Prisma colors and Sparkle Pop pens, and um, I used it, or I colored it, um, also using hashtags um, Nikki Spooky Season 2020 and Color Your Horde 2020. So yeah, I participated in both of those this uh, this picture, and uh, I did. I'm planning on doing more for Nikki uh, Spooky Season. I, I know she's hosting that with Thunder Junkie. And I have quite a couple more that I put uh, under that hashtag also. And then I'll have some more hopefully this month too. But I really, really like this. Um, I don't know if you can see. There's not a ton of sparkles on it. Um, I did use some metallic for his bolts. Um, and on the heart, there's some metallic for the bolts. But but yeah, I had a lot of fun in this one. I really like this book. It, it's super, super, super fun. And... Um, Okay, so I'll put that one back. And then next I did this one um, from Enchanted Halloween by Hannah Lynn. I know there's a glare. I apologize for that. I did this one um, as a bod as a body, <laughs> a buddy color with my friend Mona. Um, we were looking for uh, something to color in, and I was like, hey, do you have Enchanted Halloween? Because I have it, and I've never colored in it, and I've had it for a couple years, and she did, so, and she had, I don't think she had colored in hers either, so we chose this picture, which I believe is called Vampirella. Let me look at the thumbnails really quick. Yeah, Vampirella, and I enjoyed coloring this page so, so, so much. I absolutely loved it. Um, so I did use Ink Tents again, Prismacolors, the Sparkle Pop pens. Um, uh, it fell under the hashtag of Nikki Spooky Season 2020 and also Color Your Horde 2020. Um, so I'll make sure to link Nikki, uh, Nikki's channel in the description section below. And that's Nikki and Niagara, in case you're not familiar with her. And also, like I said, she's hosting that um, Nikki Spooky Season 2020 with Thunder Junkie. So I will list her channel in the description section below. And then also Color Your Horde 2020 is hosted by Lavelia's Coloring, and I will link her channel in the description section below also. But I had a lot of fun, again, with this one. Um, I did use the Sparkle Pop on her jewelry, her eyeshadow, a little bit on her dress there, uh, on the border of the um, picture. So, yeah, really, really fun. This... Um, page. I wanted to try to make it look like the sun was going down 
um, in the window behind her. So I started it out dark and then like where the sun's setting, it's a more of a yellow orange glow. I've actually seen people uh, make this window look stained glass in some of the colorings and that looks really cool. This is just a really fun, fun page to color. I'm glad I finally broke the ice with this book and started coloring in it because, um, it, yeah, it's really fun. I'm really pleased with how this came out. I enjoyed it quite a bit. So that is from Enchanted Halloween by Hannah Lynn. Next, I did a PDF of Deborah Muller's. This is from her Etsy store. <clears throat> um, it is from a pack of Fall Girls. I think there's like maybe five pages in it, or seven, five to seven pages, I believe. Um, and it's different from the Fall, uh, fall Friends. Is that what the other one? She has a whole book of Fall, um, I don't know if it's called Fall Friends or Fall Girls. I don't know which is which. But anyways, this is not from the book. This is from her Etsy store. It's a bundle. Um, and so in this one, I used uh, Cali Art Markers and Prismacolors. And... Um, I just used, uh, did a marker base and then went over it and did a little bit of shading in with the pencils. And then I didn't really feel like doing a background, but I didn't want to leave it blank. So what I did is I just did like pointillism or, you know, the, excuse me, the dots with the background to give the impression of the sun and uh, the blue sky background. And I think it's cute, you know. I really enjoyed coloring this one. doesn't have any... Um, glitters on it or anything like that but but yeah I really liked this one. Deborah has a lot of stuff on her Etsy store besides books um, you'll find images there that are not uh, in her books so definitely check that out and I can link that below and I'll also link um, our Deborah Muller coloring group uh, for Facebook in the description section below, below because we have a lot of um, I know there's a, a contest going on right now there'll be other contests popping up this month Halloween um, uh, is a big deal in our October is a big deal in that group. We do a lot of fun stuff, giveaways and, um, freebies and stuff like that. And, um, I would say definitely the two best months to be in the Deborah Muller group is uh, May and October. So yeah, I'll link that below. And if you want to come join us over there, you definitely should. All right. The next page I did was from Fade Dorables. This has a matte cover on it, so it's not sliding as easily. So um, this was a Color Your Horde 2020 and also for Nikki's Spooky Season 2020. Um, now, I have colored a page from, that is in this book. Excuse me. Okay, sorry about that, guys. I had a tickle. <clears throat> it's very nice, so we have the windows open, but it's really dry here. And the leaves are falling and stuff like that, and my allergies are... <clears throat> kind of crazy. So are Keith's too. But anyways, like I was saying, um, I haven't colored anything in this book. However, some of these images uh, in this book are also in one of the additions from Coloring Heaven's Halloween special, I believe from last year or the year before that. So I did color an image in that that also shows up in this book, but I didn't actually color it in this book. So I believe I used this page for Color Your Horde 2020 also. I think I did. Maybe not. And I did use it for Nikki Spooky Season 2020. But I'll show you that. So this is the Zombie Girl. And I used... What did I use? Ink Tons, Prismacolors, Acrylic Paint, and a Glitter Paint. <clears throat> so, so she's just... Uh, got a lot of glitter <laughs> on her dress and the whole background is covered in uh, glitter and I believe I used for the background for her dress I did the glamour dust in the blue and then I also used on the background the glamour dust uh, in black ice for the background but first <clears throat> excuse me first I put down a um, base of black acrylic paint and then I did the uh, the glitters over that so I just wanted it to be really sparkly kind of had this like thing where I thought maybe she went to the prom and of course the zombie apocalypse broke out on the way home from the prom or at the prom so the brain and spinal cord belongs to her date 
and she's really bummed because that's all she has left of him. So she's carrying it around. And also I think she's worried because she borrowed this prom dress from her sister and now it's all trashed up and she's kind of stressed. <laughs> so that is my, that is my uh, backstory on my little zombie girl here. I had a lot of fun coloring her too. Um, it was just really enjoyable and kind of quick, <clears throat> but I really, really liked it a lot. So that is from Fedorable's Cute and Creepy Coloring Book from Selena Fennick. Okay, next we have Glamour, Glamour Ghouls Pinups from Deborah Muller. And I did this page as a buddy color with Misty. <clears throat> and I'll link her channel in the description section below. Sorry, I have to keep clearing my throat. Uh, let me see. So let me find this. Here we go with this one. For this one, I use Cali Art Markers, Prismacolors, Jelly Roll Glaze Pens, Sparkle Pop Pens, and the Washi Tape for the border. So this also uh, was for a Halloween color along in... No, wait. This one wasn't... Which... This one wasn't for the... You know what? I'm mistaken. I colored with Misty last month. This one was, or, or in August, this one is something different. This one was for a um, color along, a Halloween color along in the Deborah Muller group. I'm sorry about that. Yeah, I got that confused for a second. <clears throat> so there were um, some, some of the ladies there were going to color this one out of uh of this book and they posted everybody posted their work in the album and they asked me if I wanted to participate and I said absolutely so I went ahead and did that her horns are the um, glaze jelly roll I don't know if you can see that and then I also traced her outline of her wings and that um, and her tail in that glaze also and the devil has got the glaze on it there's a little bit of gold a pen on her stockings and her bottoms there. Her tattoo is Sparkle Pop pens. Um, fingernails, I believe, are Sparkle Pop also. Her eyebrows have that Jelly Roll glaze on them, and I put some of that in her eyes as well. Um, I think the her pitchfork there has got um, some Sparkle Pop on it, and the skulls are lined in the Jelly Roll glaze as well. And then I thought this pink washi tape was really cute because it kind of matched her hair. So, so yeah, that one was a lot of fun. I enjoyed doing that with the ladies in the Deborah Miller group. And so, like I said, this was for Nikki's Spooky Season 2020. Also, Deborah Miller is so fun at Halloween. And I have a haul coming up as soon as I'm done filming this of some of her stuff. Okay. Moving along, next I did one from the Macarons Sketchbook by Carla Magana. I am definitely going to be coloring some Carla at, at some point this month. Even if I only get one accomplished, I still want want to do it for Carloween. Got to color in Carloween. Um, so let me see if I can find it. I got quite a bit done in this book. Here we go. Nope, not that one. This one. Okay. So this lady it was done with the Gong Hai, Guang Hai, Hui, I don't know how you say it, the Hero Pencils. Um, and then I used black acrylic paint on the background and Sargent Art Glitter Glaze and Nuvo Glitter Markers. So the Sargent Art Glitter Glaze is, is green. The, um the um, sparkles in it are all bl blue and green so I don't know can you see that up close that it's blue and green and I thought since I had done her dress green I would use that I have a big bottle of it that Keith got me for Christmas a couple years ago and I mean it's a big bottle it's really really big so um, I wanted to use it and I like the way it looks over black paint um, I've done this with a few other pages in the past. So, and I've, she's got some sparkles on her eyelids and on her necklace. 
So, yeah, I like this page. I like all these pages in, um, in this book. It's been really fun. Super glad I have it in my collection. It's just a really fun book that I enjoy coloring in a lot. But I think for Carloween, I'm going to color in some of the other ones because I have already colored so much in that one. All right. The next book I colored in... was another one from Floral Fairies uh, by Carol Craig, and this is a Dover coloring book. Now, <clears throat> I have, this is the third page I've colored in this book, and the first two pages I just used colored pencils because this book is, like, you know how the double, um, the Dover books are double-sided. So, let me grab a hold of one of the pages here. I can get one. My hands are so dry right now. So, like, you know, you see the image on the front and the back, and you have lead through. <clears throat> but this time, I decided to use my um, satin glazing liquid from Golden that I have. Um, and I have to say so much, Rita, RB Dreams, are if you are watching this video, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for showing that product in your video. Because it has been a game changer in my coloring. Um, I just really, really am enjoying using it. I think it's really opened up a lot of avenues for me, especially in these Dover books that are double-sided. So um, I used on this page, after I applied the satin glazing liquid, I used Neocolor 2, multiple coats of Neocolor 2. I have um, Prismacolor pencils. Parku alcohol markers and my white uni pen. So you know with the uh, wet medium and the alcohol markers I should have bleed through, correct? But look at this you guys. None. None whatsoever. There is none. There's minimal buckling on this page. Um, I'll totally be able to color it. There's not anything bad in that. I did use three coats. Um, or did I use four? I might have used four because I really wanted it to be sealed really, really well. <clears throat> so I put a coat, a, a line of it across the top, brushed it down. I put a line across the bottom and then brushed it up. I put a line down the side, brushed it over, and a line down this side and brushed it back this way. And then I gave it ample time to dry. I mean, a good couple hours to dry. And then I went in with my Neocolor 2s. And I really applied a lot of Neocolor 2, especially on this background, because I wanted it to look marbled. I don't know if I actually achieved that or not, but I wanted it to look marbled, the blue and white. Um, so I probably have maybe in some spots three or four coats of the, um, Neocolor 2. And also with the flowers, I wanted them to be really rich and vibrant. So, and then all the dots you see on her wings and her dress are the Parku alcohol markers and the white uni pen. So... I don't know. I really was pleased with the way that this turned out <clears throat> for my first attempt at using um, those kind of mediums in this book. I was really, really pleased with that, and it just really opened up a lot of um, opportunity to color in these types of books because the Dover books have so much interesting and beautiful illustrations, and they're so affordable. I think this book is $4, um, and it just the idea that you're not limited to just colored pencils or I'm not limited to just colored pencils with it now makes me super, super happy. I actually ordered, uh, entered this one in the Dover had a coloring contest that ended on September 30th. And I think it was the last day of the month and I just happened to be on their website and I noticed it. So I went ahead and put, uh, this in as an entry. I don't know. They haven't done the winners yet, but, um, Hopefully, maybe I got lucky and I'll win one of their e-cards, e-gift cards, but I really like this one a lot, and I'm anxious to color in this book again. I just love this book. It's got, the, the illustrations are so pretty in it. I just really, really love it. So, that is from Floral Fairies by Carol Craig, and it is a Dover coloring book. And then the last page, <clears throat> excuse me, that I colored for the month of September was this PDF from Dark Darlings by Deborah Muller. Lots of Deborah Muller this month. 
Um, I did do this as a hashtag Nikki Spooky Season 2020. I used Cali Art Markers Crayola pencils, <coughs> excuse me, Distress Ink, Nouveau markers, and some various gel pens. This page has always been one of my favorites ever since she put this book out. It cracks me up. It just cracks me up. The girl looks so goofy. She's got her butcher knife. Psychoville sign used to be 10 people. Now it's down to nine. It just makes me laugh and laugh. <coughs> Pardon me. It's just really, really funny. So um, the Nouveau glitter markers are on the border. Um, I think I went around the moon and the ghost with um, the clear jelly roll pen. I think so. I'm pretty sure. And then her bows have a little bit of Jelly Roll uh, glitter pen also in her dress. But, yeah, so I did my um, base, obviously, of the uh, Cali Art Markers, and then I went over it with the Crayolas. And then the background here is the Distress Inks. And I just blended and blended and blended them together. And this time I did use the eyeshadow brushes that I hauled a while back to try to get into those tiny little spaces. And I think it worked pretty good. I mean, there's a few instances where it's not perfect, not perfectly blended or anything, but when you just look at the big picture, it, it doesn't look bad, I don't think so. And then I used the white um, pen to go over the tombstones in the background. The bloody knife, it's supposed to be red glitter, but I don't think you can really see it that well. And then um, I did the worms that were coming out of the pumpkin. At first they were green, but they blended in with the grass, so I went over them with the neon yellow gel pen from Jelly Roll. And yeah, that's it. So this was a lot of fun to color too. Deborah Miller cracks me up for Halloween coloring. She's so funny. She's like hilarious. I love it. Love it. Okay, you guys, well, that is what I colored during the month of September. Sorry, it took me uh, over a week to get this video up and out to you. I apologize, and like I said, hopefully I'll have some colorings in October, but as of right now, I don't, but I know I will eventually. Um, I just don't have any yet. So stay tuned. I have a coloring supplies and book haul for you that I'm going to film next, and um, then I'll just see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much. Really quick, guys, I forgot to add that I will leave a link to where you can purchase all the books that you saw uh, in my video in the description section below. Um, they all, I believe, came from Amazon, except for the PDFs came from Deborah's Etsy store, and I will link those as well. Um, if you do follow the link to any of the Amazon items and make a purchase, just remember I am an Amazon affiliate, so I do receive a little bit from each of the purchases made via the link. I forgot to disclose that in the initial video, and it's important that I add that back on because we, you know, that's something we have to list or have to state. So, um, yeah, so check the description section below if you are interested in uh, any of these books. And um, thanks for watching the video, and I'll see you in the next one.